You guys, thank you so much for being here. We are happy to be here. Oh my Thanks gosh, for having us. this is this is great. This is great. So uh, last week, of course, the internet was all a buzz um, from all the uh, from Wall Street Journal and Washington Post to um, the Root and um, all of the uh, uh, black. Um, social networks, everyone was saying, oh my gosh, fashion fair is coming back. So let's start with that. Tell us about fashion fair and, and how this happened when no one suspected. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good not to have people suspecting when it's an auction. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think, you know, Cheryl and I had many conversations because we recently bought, as you know, Black Opal, and so that's really been our focus and what we've you know, been working on the past months and will continue to work on Black Opal, but we just could not let this incredible, iconic brand get away from us. Right. And so we went in there and we are so lucky and, you know, as you would say, blessed yes. to be the winners of that incredible brand. Wow. And you were able to pull together the investors. Tell us about that process. Yeah, you know, we actually um, uh, have an investor, as, as you, it was noted, uh, and the uh, based, uh, uh, yes, uh, Alex Lebowitz, yes. and um, and he was the uh, investor for Black Opal. He believes in our vision and what we're trying to do, and uh, he wanted to be a minority investor in this as well. And so, you know, it was it just all came together, and that's what happens when good things all come together at the and right when, time, and when things are supposed to be. That's exactly <laughs> right. that's exactly right. That's what I do. Um, I want to just uh, because my column is called the Chicago Chronicle. And so it's the whole Chicago angle. So we want to know more about you two. So just a little bit I want to dive into. Um, born and raised? Seattle, Washington. Okay. And how long have you been in Chicago? I've been in Chicago a very long time. I okay. went to grad school here at Kellogg's. So, oh, okay. Yeah, right. so uh, this is my my home. Okay. met my husband here. Okay. And, uh, and he said he wasn't leaving, so I guess I'm not leaving either. <laughs> <laughs> how many years have you been married? Um, 23 years. 23 years. Yeah, and 23. children? You no, know, we have a we have a, a surrogate daughter okay. that we okay. uh, help raise, and yes. she lives in London. Okay. And uh, and so, um, but we have plenty of nieces and nephews and godchildren. And I know how that goes. <laughs> Somebody some, sometimes Someone's my friends tell me I have more children than, than they, they do, right? <laughs> right, right, right. And then tell our viewers a little bit about you, your trajectory. So, um, went to college. Yeah. Tell us, take us through your corporate oh, well, trajectory. Real quickly, Just I mean, real quickly. Uh, yeah, I um, went to college in Seattle mm -hmm. and then. Um, Started my career in technology with IBM. Got it. And uh, then uh, decided that I wanted to do some entrepreneurial companies uh -huh. and started a couple of entrepreneurial companies and then worked in a number of tech companies okay. uh, and then started my own um, research and uh, digital company. Okay. Uh, and so it's... Um, and then I had an opportunity to go into media with, uh, mm -hmm. with Johnson Publishing mm -hmm. uh, and, um, and then... Com 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 complementing that with both some civic and, and board work that mm -hmm. that uh, that I still am involved in, and so it's been it's been quite a journey. How many years at Ebony total? I was at Ebony roughly uh, four. four years. Okay. Yeah, okay. four years. Yeah. In, and then lastly, what have you been doing since then? Yeah, I um, I have a, um, a consulting digital consulting business. Okay. I actually started. Is that and, Sage? Uh, no, no. Neon Neo Enterprises. Okay. Okay. I started in um, in 2000, okay. and so um, I've been doing work with companies, consulting them on digital strategies okay. and uh, and and growth strategies. So that's really my, my primary focus, and okay. so that was one of the reasons this was so attractive because it's not broken; it just needs right. you know right. um, it needs to be repositioned for growth. And that is your expertise. Yes, growth strategies, yes. digital. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Turn to you. Yes. You're um, born and raised? Louisiana. Louisiana. New Orleans. Okay. Yes, from and New Orleans. How many years in Chicago? Oh, gosh. 30 plus. Okay. okay. I came here after graduate school. Okay. So I went to school on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. and Take us then, through your trajectory. All right. So I went to Wellesley College and then mm -hmm. uh, Harvard. Mm -hmm. And then came to Chicago, okay. where I met my ex-husband. Right. We married here in Chicago. We have one daughter, Victoria. Okay. We raised her here in Chicago. Okay. Um, and so I've been here ever since, involved in lots of uh, civic work, also mm -hmm. political campaigns, mm -hmm. uh, and supporting mainly a lot of minority candidates, but yeah. also some of our mayors um, in Chicago over the years. And so 
I come from a family of wannabe politicians, I'll call them. <laughs> My father finally did become an alderman, but we've always kind of been interested in the political side of, of cities and, and government. And so my work has mainly been corporate um, from large companies such as AT&T to Allstate to, I ran the state lottery for a while. That's right. So that's quasi-government, quasi-business. Um, I was chair of tourism for the city under Rahm Emanuel. Mm -hmm. So that was great fun. So I've always kind of uh, stuck a toe in that political arena, certainly worked for the president as his first social secretary in Washington. So that was fun. So I've been kind of quasi-government and, and business and yeah. then came back and became the CEO of Johnson Publishing, my first time in a smaller family-owned business, ah. and also my first time in an ethnic okay. business. Okay. And so I feel like I How probably wouldn't total? have been ready, six years, okay. six years there, been ready for that without the training that I had from both school and also some of the, the companies in government posts that I had prior to, to that. And so enjoyed that for six years, came out, spent two years really thinking about, for the first time, what do I want to do? Right. And also looking for a great cosmetics brand. As uh, two corporate women who have uh, navigated um, the, the ladders of, of, of America, what are your thoughts on where we are at this moment in time? And let's end with that. Sure. Well, I mean, you know, we don't probably have enough time for that. No, but no. Uh, <laughs> let me just say quickly that um, we are living in precarious times, and I, I totally agree with you. But you know what? I, I haven't given up, okay? Mm -hmm. Because every time I think that, you know, it's it couldn't get any worse, it does, right? That's what I'm and saying. Then, okay. And then every time I really start to think about that, someone surprises me and does something really good. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, I think that the more of us who want to participate, it may not be in owning a company, but who are going to participate and actually use whatever resources we have in order to try to make it better, um, you know what, we'll get there, okay? Um, it's Sometimes you do have to go back in history, okay, mm -hmm. to really understand that all these times we're seeing today, we have seen before, seen before. okay? We have seen them before, yes. some of them multiple times, yes. okay? They're, they, they're coming in a different package, yes. okay? Yes. But they're the same times, they're the same times, okay? Yeah. And so I, I'm, I'm a very positive person. I don't spend a lot of time, you know, you know, in too much negativity because I don't have any time anyway to do know, it. Right? Uh, and I so, know. you know, so we got a lot of work to do. Right. Um, but I, I'm, I'm still I'm still very bullish on, you know, on this country and what I think we can do. And I do know for a fact that we will get there if people join in and become a part of it. If people sit on the sidelines and do nothing, that worries me. OK, I agree. that I worries agree. me. Desiree, take us home where well, we are in America. Listen, I do worry. And um, I think it requires focus. I th I'm a Democrat. I think we're all over the place. Yeah. I just left Iowa two weeks ago to hear all the candidates speak. And it's, it's, it's one of those things that happens with a mature democracy where everybody just wants their little piece and we can't see right. the whole picture. The and so it worries me, you know, as I think about future leadership and us coming together. And we, we gotta focus and we gotta come, come together. People have to take part, they gotta vote. They have to speak. They have to be a part of it. Right. They can't just sit there and, and say, bold. I hate yeah. this. Mm -hmm. Did you vote? Yeah. Right. No. Yeah. I don't think my vote is worth anything. Right. Well, all the people that didn't vote, had they yes. gotten together and made a decision, mm -hmm. it is worth something. Yes. I mean, and so I am encouraging people, you don't have to like my candidate. Right. It's okay. I'm a Harris girl. Right. You don't have to like <laughs> Senator Harris, but do something, yeah. you know, P participate, and so that's kind of where I am. I am making the time to participate. I'm gonna knock on doors in South Carolina. I'm gonna go to back to Iowa. So I wanna be, I don't wanna be one of those sidelines people. I'm making the time to get out there and um, let's, see, let's see what happens. But we, we gotta participate. That I think is the, the key, and it could be your city council, it could be your neighborhood well, group, you. your PTA, right. yeah. your community you. yeah. organization, your church. Right. Just be a part of your community. Right. Just, just be a part of it. Right. 
Everybody has a voice. Everyone has a voice. And if you don't participate, you get what you get. You get what you get. And you can't complain. Absolutely. So, well, um, you can, but it won't well, help. Well, you can't but complain. It won't help. <laughs> right, right. That's what my mom always says. Yeah, well, right, I could right. complain. You ask Ashley okay. doing. Well, I could complain, <laughs> but it won't help. <laughs> um, so on that note, uh, we just want to thank you both for taking the time to come in and chat with us. Um, this has been just a, a beautiful conversation. I am so ex excited about what you're going to do with Black Opal and Fashion Fair. Two brands that I use. I miss my favorite lipstick what with is Fashion it? Fair. Uh -huh. I'm not telling you we on know. camera. <laughs> <laughs> Probably chocolate I think I, raspberry. I think I told you anyway on the phone. I'm Probably like, where's that raspberry? Where's that not. plum? Right. Those, plum are yeah. right. Those two. Yeah. Um, so anyway, um, thank you for that. And, and we will be watching. Um, uh, we will be rooting for you. And um, we just once again, thank you for sharing a little bit of your personal lives and your thoughts on where we are today. Thank you. Thanks.